हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ शहनाज एंड वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल नर्स इज दी हार्ट ऑफ हेल्थ केयर बिफोर मूविंग अ हेड आई वुड रियली अप्रिशिएट इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल नर्स इज दी हार्ट ऑफ हेल्थ केयर टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद आई वी कैनुला ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो विल नो वॉट इज एन आई वी कैनुला वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स एंड मॉडल्स ऑफ आई वी कैनुला वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ आई वी कैनुलेशन द इंडिकेशन ऑफ आई वी कैनुलेशन ओके एंड द कलर कोड्स ओके the different color uh, and what how they are, for what they are used okay so what is an iv cannula iv cannula which is sometimes called venflon as you can see here iv cannula is sometimes called venflon iv cannula is nothing but it's a thin small flexible hollow catheter or the tube which is inserted inside the veins to gain peripheral access for therapeutic purpose as you can see here this is an iv cannula okay so this is a small okay and it is thin okay it is hollow and it is flexible see it is not rigid it is flexible plastic catheter which is placed inside the person's vein to gain peripheral access for therapeutic purpose okay so these iv cannulas that are placed in uh, veins it is of three types okay one is peripheral iv cannula and the other one is central line iv cannula and midline iv cannula okay and this process of putting the iv cannula is known as iv cannulation okay iv cannulation so iv cannulation is the most common procedure is the most common invasive procedure which is performed in any healthcare setting now let us see what is the purpose of iv cannulation what is the purpose why we are doing this iv cannulation which is the most common procedure we are doing this to gain quick and easy access to patient's blood stream for rapid or more effective administration of required or potentially needed treatment okay in short you can remember the purpose of iv cannulation is to have a quick and easy access to the patient's blood stream so that whatever is the required treatment you can administer it in an effective way okay then next coming to the indications of iv cannulation why we are doing this okay for what all it is used one is fluid and electrolyte replacement the first indication is for iv fluids administration we can administer ns rl okay d5 dns d10 d25 and all that etc etc so different kinds of iv fluids can be administered when an iv cannulation is done then next is for iv medication administration okay we can administer pain medication medications for fever okay so it is an easy access so for iv administration of medication then next for iv chemotherapy administration okay for administering chemotherapeutic agents in case of cancer patients then next for iv nutrition support that is total parenteral nutrition then next indication is for iv blood or blood products administration means to administer or we can say for blood transfusion okay then next is for iv administration of anesthesia okay before a surgery iv cannula is placed so that uh, they can administer the pre anesthetic as well as uh, anesthetic medications then next for repeated blood sampling to collect the blood samples and then next indication is for iv administration of radiological contrast agents like during ct scan mri and nuclear imaging sometimes they inject a um, radiological contrast agent okay so to administer that they require an iv cannulation then next for hemodynamic monitoring okay so so these are the different indications of iv cannulation then next coming to the anatomy of iv cannula like how we study the anatomy of our uh, different body organs we have to know the anatomy of iv cannula so that we can understand it better and deal with it okay now let me open this i don't have all the color codes but okay let me open see this is an iv cannula i am opening this okay did not open okay now when you open an iv cannula okay see we have removed this the first thing is the first thing is this is the protection cover or the protection cap the needle cover okay this one this is called the needle cover or the protection cap which uh, what we say it protects the you know the accidental damage accidental damage to the needle or accidental puncture okay and this is removed just before the use so whenever we are going to use this cannula okay first what we are going to do is we'll remove this needle cap okay then next you have if you separate this we have the cannula catheter okay the catheter tube okay which is thin small 
फ्लेक्सीबल एंड इट इज़ मेड अप ऑफ पॉलीयूरेथिन थर्मोप्लास्टिक मटीरियल ओके विच इज हाईली बायो कंपेटेबल ओके और इट इज मेड अप ऑफ पी टी पी ई दैट इज पॉली टेट्रा फ्लूरो एथिलिन टेफलॉन ओके इट इज इंटरनेशनली एक्सेप्टेड हाई क्वालिटी मटीरियल ओके दिस कैथिटर फाइन सो दैट इट कैन बी इट कैन रिमेन इन प्लेस इन द वेन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एटलीस्ट फॉर सेवेंटी टू आवर्स ओके देन नेक्स्ट यू हैव द नीडल यू कैन सी दिस दिस इज द नीडल ओके विच इज प्लेस लाइक दिस य okay and this needle is made up of high quality steel okay it is made up of high quality steel with high chrome nickel content okay which is manufactured according to the standard okay then when we are this is placed in this way okay so here this is the needle tip as you can see this is the needle tip which is triple uh, okay so this is the needle tip okay which is triple bevel okay and this will allow effective vein puncture okay when we are puncturing this will support effective vein puncture okay then next you have this is called the bushing okay this part okay i'll show with this okay this as you can see here this is called bushing okay and then next this one here there is a valve inside valve v a l v e there is a valve inside okay which will allow injection of the drugs with the syringe here there is a valve okay which allows injection with the syringe okay Dr injection of the drugs with the syringe then next you have the catheter wings okay this you can see the wings okay this these are the wings see it will be inside when when the catheter is inside still packed it will be like this but when we are putting the cannula we have to open them straighten up like this and see this will allow you to handle the catheter okay when you are put inserting you can hold it like this okay this will allow you to handle the catheter and also to secure it after fixing okay with the adhesive fine so it has two purposes these are the catheter wings okay which allows manual handling as well as to for securing the catheter after it is being inserted okay then next part is next part is the injection port this is the injection port this one injection port okay which allows additional medication to be administered directly into the vein and these are color coded okay these are different color codes these caps are of different color codes okay different color codes indicates different gauge and different outer diameter different flow rates okay then these codes are according to the iso standards then next you have the flashback chamber okay this one this part this part is called the flashback chamber okay so this flashback chamber which is transparent here once the catheter is placed i mean after the successful veni puncture immediately you can see the blood here okay so this is transparent flashback chamber where you can see the blood backflow immediately after the successful veni puncture and then next you have the needle hub okay this is the this is the needle hub where you can place which is exactly designed to place your thumb see this is the way you are going to hold okay so here the wings where you keep your finger like this and then here you keep your thumb okay this is how you hold it and then 30 degree for example if you keep keeping the here it is 30 degree initially and then perpendicular to the skin and you insert it okay so this is how then next you have the lure cap or the stopper this is not here missing okay here you can see see this white color which you can see this is called the lure cap or the stopper which is used to uh, plug the cannula to prevent any seepage or seepage of the blood flow due to back flow okay so when the cannula is not in use we are going to put this stopper so that there is no seepage of blood due to back flow okay so this is in short the anatomy of the cannula which is very important for us to understand let us quickly revise the parts again okay so what are the different parts one is yeah let us get this here yeah. one is the catheter needle ca this is iv cannula catheter okay this one the other one is the needle okay this and then next when you put it together this acts like a guide wire to introduce the needle and this is the needle tip okay and here this is called the bushing and there is a valve here and these are the catheter wings okay and this is injection port okay and here you have the transparent flashback chamber okay and the needle hub and then you have the lure lock or the stopper okay which prevents the seepage of blood okay so this is the anatomy of the iv cannula hope you all understood okay then next let us 
recap it okay then next we'll go for the iv cannula color codes okay when it comes to iv cannula there are four things that we must understand clearly one is the gauge outer diameter the catheter length and the flow rate the gauge is inversely proportional to the external or the outer diameter and the flow rate what does it mean it means the higher the gauge the smaller is the outer diameter and the lesser is the flow rate okay <clears throat> we have iv cannulas ranging from sizes 14 to 26 from 14 gauge to 26 gauge okay all in even numbers except 17 gauge so we have 14 gauge 16 gauge 18 gauge 20 gauge 22 gauge 24 gauge 26 and 117 gauge okay 17 gauge it is a white cannula which is not uh, very much in use now but we must know about this okay so we have these all different sizes of cannulas i don't have all the cannulas available with me i have only pink and green and yellow okay that were brought long back when my dad was very sick and when my child was very sick okay so but i'll try my best to make you understand see here the color codes okay the first one is orange okay the first color code is c we'll study about each gauge okay the color code the gauge the outer diameter the length the flow rate and the uses okay the first one is orange okay orange which is 14 gauge i don't have it here but orange color cannula it is 14 gauge okay and the outer diameter is 2.10 mm diameter here diameter and length both are measured in mm millimeters okay and the length of the needle catheter is 45 and the flow rate is 240 ml per minute and this is used in case of traumatic situations and when the rapid blood transfusion surgeries and when large quantity of fluids to be infused okay then next we have medium gray color gray color cannula which is 16 gauge okay and the outer diameter is 1.7 mm and the length is 45 mm and the flow rate is 180 ml per minute and this cannula is also used in traumatic situation in adults okay and during surgeries and when large amount of volume is to be infused then next we have green cannula which is 18 gauge as you can see here i have green cannula so i can show this this is green cannula 18 gauge okay see Uh, don't be so much uh, tensed about learning these gauges and cannula if you see behind every cannula this is an old one okay but now the packings are very nice okay behind here you can see behind every cannula they will give you the gauge see we can see here this is 18 gauge right okay so we can see here where it is given yeah see here. they will give you they will mention the gauge the di outer diameter the length of the catheter and the flow rate all these things all this information is given behind every cannula okay so you need not worry you can get the information from there okay so this green color cannula it is 18 gauge and the outer diameter is 1.3 mm length is 45 mm and flow rate is 90 ml per minute and this is also used in adults when during blood transfusion or when large amount of volume is to be infused now these three cannulas orange gray green that means 14 gauge 16 gauge and 18 gauge these three cannulas are called wide bore cannula and they are mostly used in adults when during traumatic situations during surgeries and when large during blood transfusion when rapid blood transfusion is required and when large quantities of fluids are to be infused okay then next coming to one white cannula which is 17 gauge okay it is the outer diameter is 1.5 mm and the catheter length is 45 mm and flow rate is 130 ml per minute okay this is used both in adults and children and for rapid fluid replacement and blood transfusion okay so then next is pink cannula which is 20 gauge okay so please remember the gauge is inversely proportional to the outer diameter and the flow rate so as the gauge size is increases the outer diameter and the flow rate decreases okay then you can see here pink cannula which is 20 gauge the length is 1 mm outer diameter is 1 mm and the length is 33 mm and the flow rate is approximately 60 ml per minute and this is used in older children 
older children as well as adults okay this is the most commonly used canola in older children and adults for the routine medication therapy and for hydration okay then next you have the blue canola which is 22 gauge okay and the outer diameter is 0.85 mm and length is 25 mm and flow rate is 31 ml per minute okay these flow rates can vary as per the company okay then next this is used in older children and adults older children and adults blue canola and this is used in casualty for medication administration then next cannula is yellow cannula which is called the pediatric cannula okay this is 24 gauge yellow cannula is 24 gauge this is pediatric cannula and the outer diameter is 0.7 mm and the length is 19 see this you can say this is yellow cannula okay this is pediatric cannula this is 24 gauge cannula here also beside behind the cannula cover on this you can see the gauge everything is mentioned okay they will mention you the gauge the length as well as the you can see here the gauge 24 gauge 19 mm okay and they have given the outer diameter as well as the flow rate okay so everything is mentioned here this is a pediatric cannula and this is used in children as well as in uh, uh, we can use in children neonates and older elderly people okay then next the last one is the violet or the purple cannula which is 26 gauge 0.6 mm is the outer diameter and 19 mm is the catheter length and 10 to 12 ml per minute is the flow rate and this is used mostly in neonates neonates and infants okay so we can say that yellow and violet or purple cannula are pediatric cannulas okay mostly used in pediatrics so these are the different cannula to remember these color codes and their gauges you can remember the mnemonic like we have the orange color mag magma under the earth then next we have the gray color soil okay then the green color plant above the ground and then the pink color flowers the blue sky up, uh, above it okay and then the purple color okay so you can just remember with this mnemonic okay so orange 14 gray 16 green 18 gauge and white 17 gauge pink 20 gauge blue 22 gauge yellow 24 gauge and violet or purple which is 26 gauge and different cannulas are used for different purposes and as per the age group okay as per the requirement patient's condition so this is in short about the iv cannula okay so hope this uh, video has helped you in understanding what is an iv cannula iv cannulation the indications the anatomy of the iv cannula and the different color codes okay so if you really like the content of this video then please uh, subscribe my channel nurses the heart of healthcare like and share the videos for uh, more amazing content uh, please press the bell icon thank you so much for watching stay connected